What's going on everybody, Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So PlayStation just announced on Twitter and on the PlayStation blog the new models for the uh, PlayStation 5 physical and PlayStation 5 digital. Um, and these are the PS5 Slims, even though they're not officially calling it that, because I believe their intent, and I think they say this uh, in this blog, the intent is for when the old stock of the PlayStation 5s run out, these are going to be the official models moving forward. Um, that's why you've been seeing all these like efforts, uh, like putting PlayStation, uh, the, the PlayStation models on sale uh, and like giving away free games with them and all that stuff. They've been going out their way to get rid of those old models, clearly because we knew this was coming. And as I said, they don't seem to be calling this these new models slims. They're, with the PS3 and the PS4, those remodels were actually called slim. But it doesn't seem like this is going to be the intent with this because with those PS3 and the PS4, you could still you could still buy the OG models. They weren't meant to be replacements, if I'm remembering correctly how that went. Because with the PS4, it was the PS4, the original, the PS4 Slim, and then the PS4 Pro. So let's go ahead and check this out, what this says. So smaller PS5 comes with one terabyte storage with, uh, for PS5 and PS5 Digital Edition. New model provides option to add Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive to the PS5 digital edition. So if you remember with the leaks, because we saw this leaked like months ago, this is exactly what we saw before. Um, now it's funny, it's funny because this shows how much I don't pay attention to storage in my PS5 because I have a PS5 physical and digital. And I actually thought the PS5 um had I thought it had one terabyte of storage and then the OS and and you know all that other small software dropped it down to like 825 um but it was actually 825 and the and the os dropped it down to like around 600 and something like that everybody i always say delete your games that's what i do so i never pay attention to storage i've never even got i've never even encountered full storage on the ps4 or even on the ps3 it's never happened to me because I just delete my games when I'm done with them. No offense, but I think all of you who keep games you're not playing for the just in case situation, which never happens, I think y'all are weird. Like, ex like people who even expand their PlayStation storage, I think that's f very odd. But let me not be judgmental. All right, I'm not here to judge. But if y'all want to upgrade y'all PS5s to two terabyte SS, bro, I don't know what y'all y'all are not playing all them games delete your games there is no you know what let me mind my business let me stay out of people's pockets let me let people enjoy things bg that you right let me mind my business this, this ain't got nothing to do with me but the point is i've never paid attention to storage that's why i actually i was inaccurate with how much storage the ps5 actually had um and there's not a different there's not a there's no differentiation between the digital and the physical right they both have that means they both had 825 or did Y'all see, I don't pay attention. There's no reason for me to know, really, because I, I delete my games. Um, so as it says, the holiday season approaches, we are excited to share that we have a new PS5 model launching to address the, the evolving needs of players. Our engineering and design teams uh, collaborated on a few new form factors. The new PS5 has, uh, has been reduced in volume by more than 30% and weight by 18% and 24% compared to the previous models. There are four separate cover panels, four. So I'm guessing two at the top, two at, two at the bottom, um, when usually it's just, before it was just one on, on both sides. Uh, so there are four separate cover panels with the top portion in a glossy look while the bottom remains um, in matte. If you, if you purchase the PS5 dig digital edition, you can add the Ultra HD Blu-ray drive or PS5 later. It will also be sold separately for $80. So, so this, this PS5 Slim Digital Edition is $450. And the external Blu-ray is $80.
hold on, listen, <laughs> I'm not the best at math, right? But if that's the case, why doesn't somebody just buy a physical? I, I don't. Okay, so I get what they're trying to get you. They're, they're clearly trying to like, this is kind of like a gotcha, right? Because it's like, okay, if you choose to buy these, these, the PS5 digital edition, which is $450, which is, by the way, $50 more than the original dig digital edition, even though it comes, comes with slightly more uh, storage and that little bit increase of storage doesn't even equip, you know, that doesn't even equal the $50 price increase, but either way. See, so what they, what they're clearly trying to do is, okay, if you buy the digital for 450 and that's your way of saving money rather than buying the $500 physical, they say, Hey, we're going to get you because if you decide to buy that drive later, we're going to, it's almost like punishing you for doing it and getting their money back on you initially saving money. There, that's clearly what that is because why would, why would buying the digital edition and then the attachment cost more or equal to, you know, when you account for tax and all that stuff to the physical, that's a gotcha. They know what they're doing with that. Um, the new PS5 model uh, will be available this November uh, in the U.S. At, at select local retailers, blah, blah, blah. It will continue to roll out globally in the, in the following months. Once inventory of the current PS5 model has sold out, the new PS5 will be the only model available. So it is a, it's meant to be a replacement. Um, so I, I like the, the fact that, you know, the options this provides and, and the, I guess the modularity. I do think that's a, you know, that's a good thing, but, and then the stand is sold separately for like $30. Granted, it seems to be a much better stand and a much better stable stand than, you know, what comes with the original PS5. Sony trying to get all their money. Cause bro, you, you could have sold this stand. You know, you could have sold this stand with this damn thing. You, you could have easily done that. So uh, that's kind of crazy. Uh, so US PS5 uh, with, you know, with the drive, $500. Um, PS5 digital, $450. You add, you add the stand, right? And you add, the, uh, you add the stand and you add the drive. That might, be, that might be close to $600 right there. Sony, no, right, yeah, Sony, Sony knows how to like really get extra money out of people by like, it's kind of like nickel and diming with like accessories and attachments. That's really kind of what it is. So a horizontal stand will be included with the new PS5 model. Also a new vertical stand compatible with all PS5 models will be sold separately at $30. So this vertical, this horizontal stand, is this the same horizontal stand that came with the original PS5 models? Doesn't say. I'm assuming, kind of assuming it's the same horizontal stand. And then there's a new vertical stand. By the way, the, the horizontal stand can also be used as a vertical stand, right? Because, you know, you could, you could use it both ways. But this new vertical stand that's $30, it's only a vertical stand. That's the only way you could, that's, the, uh, that's its only orientation. So I'm like, you're, you're charging, you're charging for the stand that's only able to do one thing. You're, I mean, you're charging for it at all. You probably could have just included this. So you're charging for the stand that's only vertical, but the, I, I guess because they, this is probably, they're probably selling this as like the premium stand or whatever. And it does look better than, it looks like a better build and better design than than the horizontal one that came in because that one could be a little wobbly and not the best, especially when it's horizontal. Um, if anything, we needed a, we needed a better horizontal stand. A, a lot of this stuff is just like unnecessary. Sony be doing some stuff, bro. Like it's cause it's like, bro, like I said, the horizontal stand that could be both 
the vertical one i guess it's it's optional you don't have to buy it because they they are giving you one but this is a just a better quality one maybe it's all it all seems very unnecessary is the point uh, i don't know a variety of the ps5 console covers for the new model uh, will be available starting in early 2024 including an all matte black colorway and deep earth collection uh, colors volcanic red cobalt blue and sterling silver uh prices for the covers will start at uh, 54.99 you see what i'm saying like they want to sell everything in like pieces because all all these cost of things that people will buy because they love to customize and they love options that's just giving them more money um i'm trying to see what really makes sense for me to do because i probably will sell one of my ps5s and uh and and get one of these um, so I have like an older model and a newer model, um, but I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what I'm what I'm gonna do. Uh, I do think it looks sleek. It it looks cool. Looks looks nice. Um, but like I said, what I really want is a is a PS uh, PS5 Pro. But you know, I, I'll probably just sell one of my consoles. I'm not sure which one makes most sense for me to sell, and then like just get get you know replace it with one of these i'm not sure which one makes sense honestly now that i'm thinking about it in my head i'm 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 really unsure but yeah this is and this makes sense for them to do because you know it's going moving forward from a business sense they trying to be more cost effective with the parts and all of that stuff and efficiency and all that good stuff so uh let's be real though we don't really care about this we need them to uh get their games in order we 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 do need y'all to you know focus on 2024 on, on the software front and i'm not one of those people who thinks that you know the hardware team has anything to do with the software team i always bring that up they're two different teams but all i'm saying is this isn't necessarily something we care about if this was a pro it would be a different story like i would care but this is uh this is just business getting ready for the holiday black friday you know christmas and and getting ready for all these ps5s to sell during that time so yeah i don't think i have any other thoughts other than that like i said i i do think that it would have been smart for the, they're not interested in taking a loss in anything we clearly know that but i think that it would have been a smart idea uh for them to optically have a ps5 at the $400 price point because you know the Series S is $300 and people would look at the Series S versus the, the PS, these new PS5 uh, slim models and be like, oh, I have an option that's stronger and only $100 more um, with this newer model, I might as well get that newer model if they're looking at that from a competitive and, and business scope. Um, but I also think they're looking at like the sales disparity between the PS5 and, and, and the Xbox series consoles and the PS5 is honestly going to, it, it's going to beat it two to one again, if we're just being real. Um, so I think they're looking at that and saying, bro, we can price this however the hell we want because we're out selling the competition. I think that's what they're thinking with this. So yeah, let me know what y'all think about this. Hit the like button, follow me on Twitter. Hit the notification bell. We'll talk about this on Weapon Wheel as usual. I'm out of here. Peace.